primarily in this trial, we're looking at the ability of, of a range of species and varieties to recover grain yield following continuous grazing up to a certain growth stage. It actually gives us a, a very good grasp on, on how each of these different varieties can produce grain at the end of the day um, sub after, after being subject to heavy, heavy grazing like they would in an intensive cereal sheep or, or cattle system. Some of the work has actually suggested that, that grazing barley, I don't think we've ever lost any yield by grazing barley and, and in fact quite regularly we, we pick up anywhere in the order of 15 to a 30 percent yield increase um, when, we're, when we're grazing barley continuously up to growth stage 30. This is primarily due to the fact that when, when we sow barley early um, in, this, in this environment, um, warm temperatures, plenty of soil moisture, it just grows very, very vigorous. Doesn't really leave a lot of moisture for later on in the year for the grain to fill. Um, the other thing that it can do with barley is, is expose the, the canopy to significant disease levels and also to lodging. Um, all, all of which produce uh, poorer yields at the end of the day. This work's been pretty consistent. Um, every, every barley variety I think that we've tested since 2005, I think, has actually produced uh, higher yields when they've subjected to grazing. Certain wheat varieties really don't perform that well when subject to grazing. Some of the other work that we've also looked at has been um, looking at the effect of grazing on, on hay quality at the end of the day because uh, once again in this environment we, we sow hay early um, and very similar problems to what I just mentioned in the barley. Um, excessive fibre production which, which um, is detrimental to your, the price you receive and detrimental to, to the animals that eat the hay. Um, disease and also lodging, so um, yield loss associated with that. And what we've actually found is that a very early grazing can um, can significantly improve hay quality. What these trials are really showing is that cereals aren't cereals, uh, everyone's different when it comes to grazing. And if, you, and if you want a dual purpose cereal, you really need to select it based on, on performance within, within trials.